What would happen if the Earth had two suns? Let's take a look at the Earth with a binary star system. A binary star system is two stars that are bound by gravity and orbit each other. If the sun was replaced by a binary star system, what would happen to the Earth if this did happen? If one of these stars were bigger than the other, its gravity would pull the Earth in and the Earth would not recover. What would happen if the Earth had two suns? Let's take a look star system. I'm known as WHL 0137-LS, also known as Arendell, I do confess. I'm the earliest and most distant known star, replacing the previous farthest known star, Icarus by far. There are smaller planets in our solar system. Let's see how they stack up in size in this comparison. Mercury! Venus, Earth, Mars, and the Moon Stack up in size against the five dwarf planets in this tune I'm the oldest Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm the oldest I'm definitely the oldest I'm the oldest I'm telling you right now, Mercury Hey, Sun, can you answer a question for me? Am I the oldest planet because I'm the closest to the Sun? Mercury, you aren't the oldest planet even though you're the first planet from the Sun As far as planet formation, that is let me set the record straight and tell you who really came in first in the formation of the solar system. Let me tell all of you planets who really came in first. Listen to how astronomers placed each planet from birth. When I went from protostar to fusing to a nuclear state, I had one planet that was forming. It was orbiting great. That planet was Jupiter. It formed very fast. It was a planetary Sucking up a lot of space gas The next planet that formed Is thought to be the planet we all call Saturn With the rings we see The next two planets that formed In theory are Uranus and Neptune Giant and icy Let me tell all of you planets Who really came in first Listen to how astronomers Placed each planet from birth When I got cooler than when my core was the rocky inner planets formed around the same time it's true Mercury, Venus, Earth, and planet Mars Would have formed last due to the lack of gas around me your star You planets came from small to large particles and gas That collided with each other over millions of years You gained mass You eventually became planets But it wasn't fast To set the record straight You all became planets last Let me tell all of you Astronomers placed each planet from birth Does that set you straight, Mercury? Yes, I guess I may be the closest, but not the first We are the planets Not the solar system How fast can an airliner go around each one of us for fun? An airliner is a commercial jet that Passengers. Jets can fly 575 miles per hour for sure. Earth's circumference is the distance around me, which is around 24,901 miles you can see. Going 575 miles per hour around Earth would take 43 hours to fly around once for what that's worth. We are the planets, not the solar system. How fast can an airliner go around each one of us for fun? Let me tell all of you planets who really came in first Listen to how astronomers placed each planet from birth We are the planets, from biggest to smallest We will look at each planet's size and see how we fit We are the planets, from large to small Let's focus on each planet's size as we list them all I'm Jupiter, a gas giant and largest planet shown here. The first biggest of all planets. Now let's see who appears. Saturn, the second biggest with the most visible rings. My size consumes other planets all while I sing. The third largest planet, Uranus, that's my name. 
I'm also an ice giant up here in the mix. Neptune's the fourth largest on the planet size list. I'm an ice giant, I'm glad that you've learned all of this. We are the planets, from biggest to smallest. We will look at each planet size and see how we fit. We are the planets, from large to small. Let's focus on each planet size as we list them all. I'm Earth and the fifth largest of the planets. The only planet you can live on because I am the best. Venus is the sixth largest of the planets by size. That could fit around Mars. Man, I hope he doesn't cry. Mars comes in seventh on the planet size list. I can fit around Mercury just like this. Not Mercury, our solar system, smallest planet. Eighth largest on the list. That's just how I fit. We are the planets from biggest to smallest. We will look at each planet's size and see how we fit. We are the planets from large to small. Let's focus on each planet's size as we list them all. We are the seven administrative districts of Sao Tome and Principe. We will teach this. Sao Tome and Principe is a country in Central Africa. Sao Tome is our capital. We'll share with you. I am Carrot Glow, the second largest center you may know. I am Carrot Glow, get ready to learn on this odyssey, here we go. Where the West region states are, names you will hear. In the West of the USA, this is how we appear. The West region is made up of 13 states. These are our names and locations. Don't we look great? We're the North Dakota counties totaling 53. We will tell you our names so you can clearly see. North Dakota is a Midwestern US state. Bismarck is our capital. It's really great. We're 92 counties of Indiana, the state, in the great country of the U.S. of A. We're 92 counties of Indiana, the state, Indianapolis is our capital today. There's six districts of Cyprus with names and locations. We're on the continent of Europe, a very small nation. Cyprus is an island country in the Mediterranean Sea. With the capital named Nicosia, let's learn more and see. There are 29 counties in Utah, the state. We also have a capital now, isn't that great? We're the 29 counties in Utah, the state in the Mountain West subregion. Now let's concentrate. Mongolia has 21 provinces bordered by China and Russia. In Asia we sit. Mongolia has a capital you see. It's named Ulaanbaatar. Come learn our geography. We're the free regions in the country of Jordan We belong to the Middle East because that's where we've been We're the free regions in the country of Jordan Broken up into 12 governorates to teach you is their plan We are the North, Central, and South region We have four governorates we would all like to mention Rhode Island is in the east of the U.S. of A. We are the five counties. We will tell you our names. Rhode Island borders Massachusetts and Connecticut. With our capital, Providence, let us tell you what is what. The Marshall Islands are divided into two island chains. The Relic Chain and the Radek Chain. The Marshall Islands are in the Central Pacific Ocean With the capital Majuro, let's get into this commotion We're the 99 counties of Iowa State In the Midwestern part of the U.S. of A We're 99 counties of Iowa State Des Moines is our capital, come visit, don't wait Monaco is a sovereign 
different city state made up of ten wards we'll teach you before it's too late monaco is also called a micro state we border france it is really great We are the 20 counties in the country of Croatia We have one county city that will be happy to meet ya Croatia is a country in Central Europe shown here We're on the Adriatic Sea, now let's get our names clear Hi there, let's discuss three homophones with the tent They're put together to discuss how their qualities are different Wisconsin is a Midwestern U.S. state with coastlines on two of the Great Lakes. Wisconsin's counties come to a count of 72. Madison is our capital. Now we'll teach you. How many planets in our solar system have more than lights? These auroras are not just seen on planet Earth's night. What are bruises and how do they form? Let's take a look at these contusions and why they're the norm. Paris is the capital and most populous city of France. Go and visit all these landmarks if you get the chance. We are Connecticut's eight counties to meet. In this song, we will include our county seats. Connecticut is a U.S. state in southern New England with a capital named Harvard. Now let's begin. We'd like to introduce you to Ohio counties. There's 88 of us, as you can plainly see. We're in the east north central region of the United States. Columbus is our capital. We think it is really great. The results were 10,000 galaxies the Hubble did observe, known as the extreme D. 